What's up guys, welcome to another video of Kaho Life. Today what we're doing is, huh, let me show you. I bought this uh, portable hydraulic kit. And I'm about to, well I just, first of all, drop my battery, so. I'll put this aside here, quick. we don't need it. But this is the kit basically. So the bought, thanks to Ralphie, thanks bro. This is the item. You can look it up yourself. It's 150 bucks. And uh, what I'm gonna do is basically I'm gonna try to push that bumper bracket because I bent the bumper when I was uh, coming back home from Texas. I accidentally started driving with the bags down and I bent the bumper. Let me show you real quick how bent it is. Yeah, you can see. It's not bad, but it's not great. What I'm gonna be doing, I thought I would show you. That way, if you run into a situation like that, you're gonna, you know, you have to fix it yourself. So it's pretty simple to hook up, just hook it up and start pushing. It's pretty close to the hood so I can see better. Alright, what we do. There we go. Alright, so I'm gonna press one more time so you can see what's happening. It's getting harder. But yeah, basically pushes the bracket and uh, makes the bumper straight. Okay, this thing is not bad. But I still have a little issue right here, as you can see. That side is a little bit out and that was even before that. Because uh, there's a shop in Sacramento, it's called Brothers Motors. I had them replace my trailer of bushings and they did alignment. So they backed up into the shop and my whole bumper was like bent outwards. So they fucked up the whole bumper. So I'm gonna try now, is I'm gonna back up my truck and I'm gonna line up I'm gonna try to line up the tow hitch right about here let me show you why so you can understand what's happening okay so when they did that see how bent this bracket is Mm -hmm. You do that, and I will see if it fixes the issue. But this thing is great, best 150 I ever spent. <laughs> that way, don't damage the pump. Yeah, guys welcome to the owner operator life that's what you get you know what can i say you gotta deal with this all the time and the next thing i want to do is replace those uh, mirror brackets these are stuck these are the 12 gauge 
clean. So it's my next project. Let me fix the bumper first and I will date you on, on the mirror brackets. Alright guys. I installed the 12 gauge mirror brackets off camera. Let me show you the end result. how they look really clean one piece mirror with the convex on the bottom I'm gonna run a dual watermelons I just have to uh, just have to go get some uh, longer machine screws to screw it right here because right now it's just not uh, I have a short one so this will be that, and I'm gonna adjust them later. Uh, yeah, compared to the factory, this is way cleaner. Look at this. Look at the difference. And the factory sits a lot higher too. Look at this. So ugly. So I'm gonna take those off now. And uh, the process is pretty simple, guys. This is the bracket. And I'm just drilling a hole right now to run the... See right here? This is the hole for, um, for the mirror heating option, I guess. Those are the mirror, There's, they heat it. Uh, part number if somebody's interested. Basically, they go like that. Let me see. If... Okay. They go like that. There you go. And I'm gonna run the the cable inside the the tube. Now it's all hidden. And also, I'm adding an extra cable, extra wires. For the for the lights, I'm gonna run two wires because I'm gonna have a turning signal as well. So it's gonna be low and a turning signal. Yep. Let's see how that goes. And in the future, if I decide to have a um, dual revolution, this is gonna be like perfect. You know, I can switch colors. Um, but yeah, it's pretty simple. Drill a hole, run your wires, remove old ones, put new ones. That's it. Now let's go do the removal of the factory mirror brackets. It's nice if I polish it out, but that'll be hard to do. This is it pretty much. I'm gonna finish it up now and I'll show you the final product. That took 
40 minutes. I'll say two hours. We can do both in two hours. Not bad. It looks so much better. So much cleaner. Wow. Can't believe it. <laughs> yep. These are for sale. Whatever. All right, so I finished the German site. I uh, actually Peterbilt has its own harness for the turn signals for the mirror and for the marker light for the mirror as well. So I made my little jump harness. As you can see, this is going to be my turn signal. This is going to be my marker light. It's pretty simple. And um, believe it or not, but this this whole thing, that rat nest, this was inside the dash, so I removed that. That's all factory stuff and all those uh, mirror uh, harness, uh, heating, everything, motor mirrors. So I got it out, I cleaned it up a whole lot. It's all clean now. And um, I just want to have the wires hooked up so tomorrow when I uh, when I finish my uh, watermelon dual, dual watermelon lights, I'll just hook it up outside and that's it. The brackets are already grounded on the on the mirrors. Uh, I already checked; they're grounded, so that's pretty good. You don't gotta do much. The watermelons they ground themselves on the brackets, so even better. Uh, but yeah. I mean, if you guys love doing harness, I mean, wiring and stuff, I recommend you guys get something like this. Uh, no, this, this stuff is helpful. This is helpful to have. Hitch ring is helpful. And I also have... I have these, these things. They have solder inside in the middle. As you can see. See the white part? It's already that's a solder. So when you heat it up, it melts and uh, you know it, it connects the wires. Basically solders them. And then on top of that I just run a heat shrink. And that's like a double protection I would say. It's pretty handy to have. Also, I have my little tool. So let's see if I. This is not grounded, right? But um, I can basically see what's grounded. That's not. Uh, that's not. This will be grounded. I meant to show you this, never mind. The marker lights. Never mind. A wrong plug. But yeah, so. I was red, that means there's power. And actually, I can give power to anything, you know. I can give power, I can give ground. It's pretty neat. It's called Power Probe. It's got different molds. You can measure resistance. All kinds of stuff. But I must use it for the voltage. Um, yeah, guys. Well, that's pretty much it. You know, today was a good day. I got everything set. Oh, let me see if I can see it. I got everything. Uh, I done everything that I wanted to do. I did the mirror brackets. I did the um, I did the bumper, which is which is cool. And uh, next would be tomorrow. I'll probably finish the watermelons. So I'm probably gonna put this in the video. If not, like and subscribe, and stay tuned for next videos. Follow me on Instagram. See you.